Now, if nobody's going to say it, then I'm just going to be the one to go and say it. Those gang members at No Jumper have got Adam22 feeling brazy. Yes, I said brazy. Now, for those who don't know, Adam22 recently hosted Ruga of the GD set. He hosted Ruga from Chicago Popular Artists. He hosted him on his show and things just completely went left. Now, before we get into what happened, let me give you a quick backstory as to why things went left on the show. Now, Adam22 recently not too long ago it was quite a while ago but it wasn't too recent so i guess i shouldn't say recently but not too long ago adam 22 he was talking about wooski and wooski is somebody who's a very known figure in chicago he's known for yeah definitely not philanthropy <laughs> philanthropy or anything like that but he's um known for doing his thing out there in chicago killing people bro fuck it i'm just gonna say it bro killing people he's known for getting busy in chicago now adam was talking on wooski's name basically saying that wooski was off no lemon cairo said that he was pissed off at sean cotton he said he don't got wooski vibes aka he don't seem like a killer i said well, maybe you don't want to have Wooski vibes at this point since Wooski's vibes are a little off. Which to me is not really like, like, as oh, much. Yeah. think about everything you could say yeah. to clown or whatever. Like, that's nothing. That's fucking nothing. Wooski is a little bit off. And he, this essentially came up because Say Cheese said that No Limit Cairo doesn't really give off Wooski vibes. Basically saying he doesn't give off killer vibes. And basically when... Adam heard this, he basically said that's a good thing that you don't give off Wooski vibes because Wooski is a bit throwed off. Now, Wooski jumped in Adam 22's DM at the time and he basically was going off at him. And Adam 22 basically said, after his paragraph, Wooski's paragraph going off at Adam, Adam basically said, I can hear the brain damage through the screen. Now, this might not seem like a big diss, but Wooski was shot in the head. So to say that you can hear brain damage from the screen basically insinuates you're joking about his situation when it comes to being shot. Now, that right there, that just added to what I'm about to tell you right now. Now, when Ruger went on the show, the second time he went on Adam 22's show, he basically confronted Adam. Now, at first, the interview was just... There was the energy was off. You, he ain't had a song made <laughs> like that. Song folks, made. He, folks was freestyling. Yeah. Hey. You could essentially tell that Ruga and his guys didn't really respect Adam. They weren't answering questions. They were just talking amongst one another. They, they weren't really respecting the interview. Now, when things finally died down, Ruga finally addressed the weird energy in the room. Adam addressed it first, but then Ruga went to, into detail as to the weird energy in the room. Now, Ruga essentially was upset at Adam won because Adam was recently talking about FBG Duck's mother. Oh my God, Mama Duck. You know, I always want to have your back, but sometimes you just be doing the goofiest shit ever. This has got to be one of the lowest of the lows in the history of drill music that she has taken it upon herself to sue Lil Dirk, King Von's estate, uh, uh, Dulce and Gabbana for not having adequate security outside of their uh, store, etc. Like, just reading through the news articles about this, this is some of the craziest shit I ever seen. Um, Mama Duck, newsflash. Your son was embroiled in a gang war. Anytime one of his ops died, he promptly made songs about it, posted about it on social media. He was no better than the rest. Long live Duck, but... He was on the same exact bullshit that Dirk, Vaughn, etc. were on. And now you're out here following a lawsuit just because Dirk happens to be rich. Like, this is some real sad shit. Because she said that she wants to sue Lil Dirk's estate for basically making money, basically dissing her son. Adam spoke on it and Ruger didn't like the fact that he spoke on it. But he didn't really go too much into detail with that. He kind of left that there. He said he didn't like him speaking on it and left that there. What Ruger really had a problem with was the fact that last interview, he told Adam, hey, I don't really want to talk about guys and the street shit. Let's talk about music. And the first question Adam asked was about street shit. Yeah, I know. That's why everybody's been thinking for the last 20 minutes is, <laughs> don't y'all have something to talk about? Yeah, what's going on, man? <laughs> oh, I don't know. Let me know something, man. Like, what we learned now? I feel like you're disappointed because now I'm a rapper having motion <laughs> and I'm not even writing songs about you. I feel like you were probably pissed when the freestyle came out and I didn't have any bars for you. Skipped right over you, went we straight to J-Main. We fold a freestyle. 
Oh, I don't even remember anything before that. Although I was just thinking we did that whole interview with Flame in which he like, remember he's telling he the funny ass flame. story about him stealing his shit while he went to the store or something? It has nothing to do with Flame. Flame oh, okay. ain't steal none. No, he said Ruga stole from him, right? Huh? Listen, I'm going to tell you some real shit though, Adam. Okay. My thing is with you, man. Hmm. Like even where, where, where we went bad at, the moment I did my interview with you, we um I talked to you before the cameras was even rolling. Mm -hmm. I said I ain't even want to talk about that billionaire shit. You feel me? Just off the strength of that's Doug Homie. They always we always in cahoots with each other. Mm -hmm. And I just ain't got time to be, you know what I'm saying, bashing the next motherfucker on the internet or whatever. Then the first thing you started to interview off with was uh, you said you didn't want to talk about the billionaire shit. <laughs> and I literally just told you this. So it's like, why well, speak about it on camera? Basically, coming off like what people accuse him to be, a colonizer. You're basically trying to profit off of black pain. He's telling you he don't want to talk about the streets, and you're still trying to talk about the streets. So Ruger wasn't happy. And the Wooski situation added to this. Like I said earlier, the Wooski situation, it added to everything going on and Ruger's frustration. And he basically came out saying, stop talking about street business. Stop talking about street business. It has nothing to do with you. He's basically saying that there's, there's going to be stuff that comes behind you talking about street business. Now, like I said at the start of the video, Adam22, those gang members at No Jumper have got this man feeling brazy. He was basically saying, hey, I don't give a damn what energy comes with me talking about you gang members or whatever you've got going on. I'm with it. But you can defend you my can man. Get on platform and let them convince you you can try to convince people that you tough and you this and that when have i but ever acted like i was tough on some real shit just speaking on street shit to get you up i'm telling okay. you that i'm just gonna let you know i'm good I, with the vague threats you ain't yes you ain't you unless you're be. gonna do something you wouldn't be. i don't want to hear it do you want to fight no i can't shut the <laughs> up then why are you on the stop podcast talking. stop talking i'm willing to catch that energy i don't care he was basically talking crazy now, obviously, he was talking this crazy because there was security in the back, so that's why he was talking crazy, but he was still nonetheless talking crazy. This is when things began to escalate. Basically, Ruger challenged him to a fight. Adam wasn't really with it, and they just kept going back and forth until Adam's security could tell that things were about to take a huge left, and he basically came to escort Ruger out of the room. Now, he did put his hands on him when he did this. To be honest, I really wanted to come in and beat your ass. Yeah, but you're not. You want to go box? Let's go get your face. Man, I'm not a boxer. Talk. I've exactly. made that extremely so stop clear. Stop talking. Stop talking. I'm a podcaster. Why the f*** would I stop talking? Stop talking. That's your problem. Why would I stop talking when I'm a podcaster? All you're going to do is hit the table. But All you're doing me. is sitting here yapping. Hey, so look. I'm going to ask you to leave. That's cool. I'll leave. But I'm telling you, you a I don't care. Yeah, yo, that's a handsome guy. Bro. I'm gonna get up no, out of here. Don't touch me though. But no, listen, yeah, you're gonna have yo, to go. That's a handsome guy. Gonna, Come on, get the f out. Don't touch you. Get out of here. You scared? You're fired. Who's a handsome guy? Yo, that's a handsome guy. Come on, handsome guy. Yo, get the. You got a soft ass security. That's crazy. He's soft as hell. Get out of here. I'm. We can run the face. We can run the face. Don't do that. Come on, y'all. No, no. Everybody chill out. Now, I don't know if any of you noticed, but I think that security is like serious the real deal because if you notice what he did he didn't pull ruger's shirt and then stand next to him he kind of pulled his shirt and then moved back basically getting ready yeah it, it kind of seemed like he was getting ready to pull out the the strap basically creating space so that if he did anything he could move quick enough if you really pick that up but i could just be over exaggerating but that's what it did look like he was ready for the action they essentially went outside and i don't know what happened when they went outside if they ran the fade but the security seemed like he was with running the fade so they may have run the fade now adam essentially after this situation he went and linked with the gang members at no jumper and showed them the video of him pressing ruger my uh my crazy moment from the weekend yeah let's hit it all uh, right, I mean, I know you guys already seen this, yeah, but this might is, as well. This is crazy. Yeah, Chicago, yeah, I want to you right now, man. Yeah, yeah. And basically tried to boast about it. Now, that's basically what happened. I don't know what's going on with Adam22. I don't know why he thinks he's some, like, gang member thug. Like, he can talk crazy to people he would never usually talk crazy to. Like, back in the SoundCloud era when No Jumper was first starting off, you would never catch Adam talking crazy to his host like that. But now... It's like he's got so many gang members who are willing to do backflips on his dick just to be on his show to the point where he knows he's going to have some gang members backing him. He's got security. So now Adam, he feels like he can talk crazy. He feels like he could talk crazy. Now, 
a lot of people have been giving DJ Vlad the cancellation treatment. A lot of people I've been seeing say in comment sections, etc. I've been doing research. They've been saying that I purposely don't watch Vlad TV's interviews because he's a culture vulture. No jumper. They've been getting a lot of culture vulture accusations, but they haven't really got it as bad as Vlad really. People are really like saying I'm not watching Vlad no more type of thing. No jumper. There people are still down to watch if there's enough bullshit on the podcast. So Guys, let me know in the, in the comment section down below. What do you guys think about this whole situation? I think it's crazy. I think Adam needs to calm down. Now, I do understand not letting someone come to your show and dictate things. It's your show and you built that. So you should be able to run the show how you want to run it. But at the same time, you've got to understand you can't bring these gang members on. Uh, like it when they're fucking with you. But as soon as they tell you, hey, hey, stop talking about this type of thing. And then you have a problem. Like, you're not involved in that life, Adam. You're an interviewer. You know, stick to being an interviewer, you know. But it is what it is. Adam 22, he must be off the coke or something, you know. <laughs> I don't know what he's been doing as of late. But, hey, I guess he's still got supporters. But let me know what you think in the comment section down below. And I'm out.